uh, unlike these niggas, I do this shit because I love it. Yeah. Talk about that. Like, do you think a lot of niggas do music just because it's the popular thing to do right now? 100%, bro. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 196. Man, we've been trying to get this uh this guy on the show for a minute, man. Oh, his his schedule busy. My schedule ain't busy, but it's kind of busy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He a rapper. Man, he a hooper too. Like dog can hoop. Like he played for Rogers. Right, fact. Got a state championship. Uh mm -hmm. you hoop with Eric Evans. Yeah. Went to ball state and hoop. So All like right. nigga could really, really hoop and shit, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got the homie knowledge, man. My dog. What's good? But Chilling. but before he was knowledge, he was paper boy. Yeah, yeah. My, my dog <laughs> did his homework. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk about that, dog. Like, like you know what I'm saying? I want to jump into it, but how you go from being paper boy to knowledge? Like, you know what I'm saying? The paper boy was just the start, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? How I say it's right when I got into taking the music series and shit. Yeah. At Ball State, for real. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I started rapping for real at Ball State. Uh, shit, going by paper boy, man. And then just growing up, I was like, you know, I just grew out of that shit. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So, and then the knowledge shit, you know, my my name Jalan. Mm -hmm. So I just spelled my name backwards and pronounced it knowledge. You feel me? For sure. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't repeat that shit. <laughs> you did? You know what I'm saying? Because so, yeah. I, I got something to say, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. shit ain't all just fun and games. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. How you feel when you watched uh, Atlanta and you saw a man was Paperboy? And yeah, everybody be hit me. <laughs> Everybody hit me about that shit, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, that's dope, though. Yeah, I seen that shit. Like, let me go ahead and mention Paperboy, Small Circle Gang. All that. Yeah, what happened um, with that? Yeah, uh, you know, just shit group. We just grew, you mm -hmm. feel me? I still love my dogs and all that. For sure. Shit, that's the foundation. So it was like a group or just like y'all was together? How y'all was at? Yeah, just a group. That was my hoop niggas, man. My yeah. brothers from, from basketball, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. yeah, that was that. Just... Move past that, man. We grew the circle still small, though. Yeah, for you know sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I had to bring it up. Like, yeah, paper boy in the boy. Yeah. Paper. For real. P A Y P A, Paper. <laughs> <laughs> now, we start with everything with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers. We make that long Facebook status about how we love him and her yeah. instead of letting them know why he still, you know what I'm saying, can receive the flowers. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be parents. It can't be kids. And it can't be relationships. Got somebody you want to show some love to? Man, it can't be parents, can't be kids, can't be relationships. Mm -hmm. Anybody besides those easy answers? Most definitely, man. My brothers. For sure. Know, uh, brotherhood, very important to me, man. No, no, don't facts. Somebody that ain't really your blood, but that you, uh, you know, just solid, man. Mm -hmm. Just stand up guys, man. Uh, it's a few of them, bro. I don't want to leave nobody out, man. Mm -hmm. My brother, uh, Rick Bills. Mm -hmm. My DJ, Kurt. Mm -hmm. My dog you just named. Shout out to Kurt. Um, this ain't my blood. My brother Daryl, man, in L.A. Okay, okay. Yeah. Salute yeah. them guys, man. But how, how important is that, dog? They have, like, a tight circle of people that you can really trust, you know what I'm saying, those conversations with that can keep it real with you and shit, man. It just ain't just there, just, you know what I'm saying, for the fuck of it. That's everything, man. That's everything. I be putting this shit in my raps all the time. If I can't build with you, bro, mm -hmm. we yeah. ain't, you ain't know. No point. You feel me? What we doing for real, man, bro? Man, for we, sure. We grown, you know what I'm saying? I got, we got kids at this point. Hell yeah. So, yeah, that's very important, man, because you only strong as your, your brothers, man. Man, man. My brother <laughs> told me that shit one time, man. That shit stuck with me, dog. He like, man, if the niggas that's around you doing less than you, then you around the wrong niggas. Yeah. You got to be around people that's going to inspire you to do more. So if you around some niggas who just chilling, uh -huh. you gonna be that fourth nigga chilling <laughs> like damn. Chilling. <laughs> you know, That's so when I was living in Texas, I came back home and it's hard, dog, cause you love your niggas, but it be like sometimes you gotta fall back and do your own thing. Yeah, that's a fact, man. It's still all love, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause if I see like, damn, this nigga ain't doing nothing, then you like, nigga, I ain't been doing shit for weeks. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You just start just you fall into that rotation, man. Yeah, that's yeah. A fact. Shout out to the real ones, man. Yeah. But shit, it's a shit. Damn near half half the year almost over, man. Shit, crazy, bro. Shit, moving. Time flying, bro. Moving, dog. Sad, How your year been, man? What was some shit that you went into twenty twenty four hoping to achieve personally and on the music side? My year been good so far, man. I've been real active. Uh, some I went into want to achieve. Um, just what I'm doing, man. Just turning up, bro. Mm -hmm. On all levels, man. I've been, uh, you know, I do the Knowledge Mondays, bro. I drop every week. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm proud of myself. I ain't missed a week this year. Yeah, it's hard. You feel me? You can go yeah. back January 1st. I've been dropping every week. Yeah. Uh, 
I got original music on the way, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, I just got into DJing. Yeah. I've been I got a residency every Thursday. I'll be doing the R and Yeah, I might me and my wife gotta come in and yeah. come and check it out, dog. It'd be a vibe, man. So I just been moving, bro. Steady, yeah. steady pressing, cooking up new music. What made you wanna go ahead and switch over to the DJ side? Uh man, really, dog, I don't even feel like that's a switch up, bro. Like mm. I just I'm just a hustler, bro. I be grinding and like Throughout my life, bro, I don't work so many odd jobs. Bro. <laughs> Dog. Shit, bro, I don't like working, bro. For no, people. for sure, no, I'm you good. Feel me? Like that should be really like doing something to my spirit. Bro. <laughs> yeah. So should be I'm, hurting going in, boy. Man, real talk. So I'm already doing music, rapping yeah. and shit. Yeah. I write for people and shit. So it's like a, it's in the same field. Mm -hmm. It's like it was only right. I grabbed a turntable. Yeah. Hell yeah, you feel me? And yeah. I, I love that shit. So go back to them jobs, man. What's that? What's the one bullshit <laughs> job that stand out to you, dog? You, you couldn't believe. You work that motherfucker, dog. Whoo, it's so many of them motherfuckers. Cause I just got fit to have my aunt, dog, who my producer. <laughs> I had this. Don't tell me jobs be some bullshit, dog. Man, these niggas had me for eight hours just breaking down boxes, putting in the compactor yeah, for eight hours, but... breaking down boxes, nigga. Listen, bro. like what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> like you start questioning so life, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I say uh, I was working at FedEx, bro, in LA, right before I came back uh, mm -hmm. for a quick second. That yeah. shit was no joke, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it's crazy. I'm worth more than this, bro. I can't yeah. do it. This. <laughs> That's you know the job is bullshit when you be thinking like, dog, what the like you gotta look at yourself like, dog, really? Yeah, for real, for real. Like nigga, I work at Bell Tire, bust my ass. You ain't get, you get paid. You looking at check, dog, getting paid every week. You get like three fifty, like dog, really, dog. Yeah. Like, yeah. and you bust your ass way more than anybody that's making. You know what I'm saying? Eight, nine, you know what I'm saying? A thousand dollars a week, and you yeah. getting three fifty, and you going crazy on yeah. these tires. Shout to listen, bro. I got a homeboy, man. Shout to my nigga uh, Louie, bro. My yeah. nigga, uh, he a, he an engineer at the studio. Okay. He was like, shit, you rap, bro. Um, you got to knock one out the park. You got to hit a home run. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm charging fifty hours. Yeah. I never go back to get. I think I was making like fifteen, sixteen <laughs> hours at the time. Yeah. He told me I never go back to doing that. I'm like, damn, I had to think, bro. I'm yeah. like, man, man, you know, just apply yourself. Man, you yeah. could, you ain't gotta settle. You know, no, what I'm for sure, you ain't gotta settle at all, dog. Facts, facts. So you settle when you die. Yeah, real that's what I say. Like, cause I be telling people, man, like, what? Just try, it. give it a try. Yeah, man. Only thing, you, uh, what's what's the worst that's gonna happen? You'll fail, but shit, you gotta at least see if you can get that shit right. Go for that shit for real. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Now you had mentioned about being a writer, man. I ain't gonna ask who you write for, whatever. But like, how do you do that? Like, do you have a conversation with somebody? Do y'all talk and you kind of pick his brain or her brain? Like, how you go about writing for someone? Yeah, it'd be different situations, man. You know, I definitely, if it's personal, I got to get to know the person. For sure. Talk to them, see what they, what you want to be on. How you yeah. trying to come? <laughs> yeah, for you sure. Know, I can't write from my perspective, <laughs> yeah, you feel yeah. me? So, it'd be different shit, man. Then you got, like, writing rooms and shit, you know, certain um, writing camps and mm -hmm. shit like that. They work different ways. Mm -hmm. So, it's just being prepared. It's different type of situations, man, okay. you know, but... I just be ready. You know? Being a writer, would you be kind of pissed off if somebody take off of some shit that you didn't put down? If I ain't do my business right, yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Hell, yeah. well, hell no, not if I handle my business on my end. We we on. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. See, what's name might need you, dog? Who See, the right for him. Shit, it was it's taking a long time. I was up all night waiting for fucking uh, Drake, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. I ain't, I ain't getting no sleep, dog. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I know when these niggas gonna drop. Man. I know it. Nigga, then we get ASAP Rocky diss on that bitch. Like, come on, dog. Cut it out. Yeah, I'm like, Cut come on, out. dog. Yeah, I heard that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you feel about that, bro? Because, like, I don't like talking about shit that's, 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 that's going on right now. Because this shit could change. This shit, Tuesday, we can get the, a crazy ass response, you know what I'm saying, by yeah. then. But yeah. how you feel about first J. Cole? Put something out, then tucking his <laughs> tail in, like and J Cole, my nigga, that shit hurt to see him apologize, yeah. bro. Like, cause with y'all, y'all know it ain't nothing for real. Exactly. It, it was just gonna be rap. Exactly, it wasn't ever gonna get to the streets at bro. all, at me? all. So how you feel about that, and then how you feel about like just everybody talking about Drake got this massive ass diss song that <laughs> if he press play, it's gonna hurt niggas. Yeah. Off top, bro, I'm a Kendrick nigga, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Me too. Some been, people in this bitch ain't. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people, look. <laughs> listen, man. And I ain't mad at that, bro. Yeah, I'll that tripped me out, dog. I, uh, I'm a writer, too, bro, so I be listening to shit from a different... Kendrick just go... He just deeper to me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shit just, but um, I love Cole, bro. For it's sure. like... That shit hurt. Them niggas both goaded, but... I ain't, I ain't gonna last like this, bro. The higher part of me is like, I understand, my nigga. If that shit wasn't right in your spirit, yeah. you're right. <laughs> Get yourself together, my nigga. But, ooh, my nigga, you can't jump out there and then yeah. take that back. That's crazy. Yeah. That shit look crazy. So, Duh. it's both and both, man. Now, now you know? 
I ain't get, I get cussed out by a lot of people when I say I don't really. I'm not one of them niggas who hate like them niggas who hate LeBron. Like, oh yeah, LeBron. I know LeBron's great, but he might not be my favorite player. Yeah. But you can't be a hater and say he's not great. For sure. J Cole. I mean, not J Cole. Drake is a is a is a great artist. I he just not my cup of tea. Yeah. So how do you feel about like what people how they talk about him and, and with the, do you think he got something to tuck for this whole little back and forth with him and Kendrick? Yeah, bro. I don't I, think he ready for no Kendrick though. Definitely not ready for Kendrick. I love Drake. His shit top top tier for sure. Yeah. You know, it just don't hit me like I don't know. It's like Kendrick just more original, bro. More sure. down to earth with the shit. Drake seemed like it's more like factory made, bro. Yeah. You got the best, <laughs> the best this, the best writers, the best this. Yeah. But you know, I don't know. I don't really care about Drake shit like that. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to hear it, though. Yeah, man, you know, yeah. I, I'm gonna listen to that shit. But and, um, and then people that talk shit about Cole apologizing, I can kind of put that back on Drake for when he bowed out against Pusha T. Facts. When he claimed he had some shit, but. His feelings got hurt when the way Pusha came. Like, nigga, in a battle, it ain't no fucking feelings, nigga. You gonna say what you gotta say to hurt a nigga. Exactly. And see, that's what I was saying about Cole, bro. When Cole first responded, yeah. niggas talking about that was a warning shot. Ain't no warning shot. Kendrick already said, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Ain't no what we need to warn about, bro. Exactly. It's, we, we, it's all out, but. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I could tell like he don't really want to do that, bro. No, he didn't. Though. Like, he just—I think he was probably forced by his niggas. Yeah. But then, if I'm your nigga, I'm like, bro, why the fuck you apologize? Like, <laughs> exactly. I know they ain't like that too. Being you know, them niggas mad, dog. Like, yeah. come on, bro. Like, you supposed to be ready to go jig. Like, you supposed to be ready to go at these niggas, dog. Exactly. Go at like, it. dog. That shit could. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, before we move on, dog, give me, give me your your, your the diss songs that stand out to you, dog. Like, Ugh. for me, the one that stand out is not the one that get talked about heavy. But uh, the easy this dog, real comp to G's. Yeah, I like, just heard something about that the other day. Like nigga, and, and then no Vaseline is I think is the best diss song ever. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. then off top class, he hit him up. Yeah. Now hold on, let me say something. Cause I know Tupac, me and you got that like that's our favorite rappers. Yeah. But I feel like Tupac is the realest nigga ever because the Outlaws was trash. They were. The Outlaws <laughs> fucked up that. <laughs> and he still was yeah. like, "She's my nigga." Bro, that shit would be so. <laughs> Legendary if he if they yeah. wasn't on there. Yeah, that's a fact. Bro. <laughs> Damn. I ain't never thought about that, but as soon as his shit go off, I'm changing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Dog, cause he went so hard that these yeah. niggas come like yeah. Damn, like that, that's why I say Tupac gotta be a realest that's nigga crazy. ever, cause he kept the outlaws on the on the classic too, dog. Like nobody never ever talk about an outlaw verse <laughs> on no song, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, bro, I ain't never thought about that. That's a fact. He put them on, hit them up, bro. Yeah. Damn, they still ain't. Uh, <laughs> they still ain't. Yeah. Like you would thought after Pop died, like, all right, we gonna we gonna do it for Pop. Yeah, yeah. Them niggas is still talking about Pop stories. Like, bro, yeah. where the music at, dog? So yeah, Tupac gotta be the realest nigga ever, dog. For sure. For so go. you say you. So you got hit him up up there in No yeah, Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What about uh, on some current shit? Do you you put back to back on some top five, top three this song? Mm. Probably just the viralness of that. Yeah, shit. that's all. It was. Yeah. It, it became like a pop song. Like it was a. Exactly. Yeah, that's different. where he fucked me up, dog. Uh -huh. Hell yeah, yeah. Ended his shit for real. <laughs> he, on, he going. He he going through it too right now. Yeah. No. no hell yeah. No yeah. Did he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's that's some whole new shit, dog. <laughs> hell yeah. Now, uh, back to you, man. As far as like uh being an artist, dog. What what moves need to be made made. And just, just as far as getting your music out, dog. Like, what, what did you have to do, like, to get your shit out for people to hear more of you? Of you? Man, everybody, I feel like everybody gonna tell you a different thing, bro. Mm -hmm. Everybody get on a different way. For me, bro, it was the Knowledge Mondays, bro. Yeah. Once I just got on YouTube and shit and showed motherfuckers I could rap, I could do this shit every week for mm -hmm. them. That's what really created my... And it's like an organic little small following yeah. we got. It's building every day. But yeah. for me, it was just that, bro, being consistent. Consistency. Yeah, that's everything. You know, niggas be doing some, doing some shit for a couple months. It we don't work how off. they wanted to. Yeah. Yep. So that, um, collaborating with other people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Other people on your, on your level. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. Not trying to keep reaching out for the biggest feature. For sure. There's yeah. other niggas on your level moving. You know what I'm saying? Get with them, man. Mm -hmm. And be up. So hey, like listen that. to your Nas nice Mondays really had me, had me like, yeah, I, I shouldn't be rapping. Man. When you hear niggas, like, like I tried it, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought it was okay, but then when you hear other niggas, like, oh, they, they, they got the gift. Like, yeah. they got the game. Like, <laughs> let me go ahead and fall back and do my podcast yeah. and ask some questions nah, and shit, dog. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> What's yeah, the toughest bro. part about being an uh, artist, dog, on the come up? Uh, building that following, bro. Mm -hmm. And just learning, uh, 
just learning how to work your program, man. Yeah. You know, um, being independent, bro. It's a lot of different ways to make the money. Mm -hmm. But you got to really get be on your business, bro. A lot of artists really lean on somebody else to work, do their business for them. Yeah. That's why a lot of niggas get fucked. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So... <laughs> so, look, uh, yeah, so that for me, man, I'm just really trying to. Uh, I'm putting most of my attention on my business, bro. Mm -hmm. Learn how to take care of my business on my back end, yeah. all my merch, setting my shows up. Mm -hmm. For that. sure, for sure. Now you seem like a deep brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Who can you talk to when times get hard, bro? Like they keep your, you know, saying your head right. Pause. Just gotta start with my brother, bro, right here, man. For sure, Hell yeah. young Pearl, bro. We chop it up every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The most for real. But uh, my OG, man, my mama, bro. For sure. <clears throat> Me and my mama tight as fuck, bro. Yeah. We chop it up down there every day for yeah. real. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, like mom, that. dude's going to keep it real. Hell yeah. Tell you, tell you shit that you don't even want to hear. Yeah, yeah. But you, yeah, you need that, John Duck. What, sure. Have you learned something about yourself that you ain't even know? Like, damn, I'm full of shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what's some shit that you learned about yourself that you even know? Like, oh, I, I could do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that I ain't know. Mm. And something that you need to work on Maybe that still might be holding you back Being that artist that you need to be uh, My emotions bro For yeah. sure Just dealing with my emotions man Learning how to You know you don't be having no Solid dude Like no man in your life growing up bro yeah. Like I was raised by my, my mama bro My grandma yeah. women, So niggas get emotional dog Niggas get overly mad mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> You feel me And it's like just growing up bro yeah. I'm teaching myself Like bro that ain't the way For sure Hell you yeah You feel me You gotta stay ten toes down bro Don't be making no decisions Off how you feeling in yeah. the moment Yeah, yeah. Shit yeah. like Fuck that Fuck around make the wrong move You feel me so Hell yeah So do you know your you know your pops? Like y'all got a relationship now? Or? Yeah, me and my pops tight. Yeah. How was it though, like when y'all first like had that made that, that connection back and you know what I'm saying, him not being around, like was it like some old I wanna fight you shit or it's like I understand you now or like how was that convo? You know, it wasn't no I wanna fight you at all, bro. My mm -hmm. pops my pops one of the most solid, solid people I know, bro. Yeah. Really, just for how he came back in my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn. This shit crazy. This is the first one. I ain't never really chopped it up about this shit. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, fuck it, dog. We here, bro. Yeah, give it to so. y'all. I'm, I'm getting my, my Oprah bag real quick. Yeah. Nah, because this shit important, <laughs> bro. <laughs> you feel me? People be need to hear shit, bro. No, for sure. We you never know. Be, yeah, so... Like, the way my pops came back, bro, my pops was in and out of my shit all my life. He wasn't just completely absent. Yeah. Uh, but he wasn't really there, bro. Like, mm -hmm. so I was at Ball State, bro. My pops drove up to my school on some random shit. Like, I need to talk to you, bro. For sure. Pulled up, like, Jay, I, I apologize, bro. Yeah. I've been going through this, that, and the third all through my life, bro. Yeah. Addiction, addiction type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I apologize, bro. And if you mad at me, let me know right now, bro. What we could do, what I can do. I'm like, that was real. I'm a yeah. freshman at college, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, shit deep, man. You feel me? For real. So. This was my answer on some real shit, bro. My grandma and my mama, they took so good care of me, bro. Mm -hmm. So much love in my crib. I ain't even know my pops was missing. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, I was yeah. hooping. Yeah. Living my life, bro. Yeah, for sure. So in like, school. In school, yeah. bro. So I'm like, damn, pops, I really wasn't mad at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He like, he ain't know how to tell you. <laughs> he like, I think I drove all his way. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I just respect you for even coming to open no, up with me facts. like that. That's some real shit. Uh, men don't apologize, bro. Man. Niggas ain't holding themselves accountable for all. shit, bro. At all. That shit hurt to apologize, <laughs> nigga. Like, for real. Like, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, but my pops doing that, bro, I look at every other man. Like, bro, you need to stand on yeah, whatever, bro. Man. Hold yourself. Be able to say, damn, I fucked that wasn't cool, bro. Yeah. I, yeah. Hell yeah. So. And then, like I said, you go through that jump, but later on in life, you that junk can help. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, you want your pops around, but that, in a way, it probably made you a little stronger and shit Indeed. like that. And like you said, you had your granny and you had your moms and shit to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, man, my pops, we've been super tight, bro. Like, as of last five, about seven years, mm -hmm. we've been super tight, bro. And I'm beginning to know him, getting to know myself through him because yeah. I'm, I'm him. Yeah. You feel no, me? So it's like, damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing all that same shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, when he had that moment with you, dog, both of y'all broke down, didn't y'all? For yeah, sure. I knew it. I was saying, I, sure. I had the whole little vision of the whole Will Smith and Uncle Phil moment, dog. Bro, shit be deep, man. Yeah, man. Shit be deep. I'm like that with my daughter, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now, uh, cause it that probably did make you a better father when you had your little girl. Hundred percent, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Hundred percent, and just the way I was raised, bro. Like I said, I was raised with by people that love me, bro. Yeah. I wasn't spoiled with material shit, bro. But I, they, I was spoiled with love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I see you got a little emotional, man. You, you said you was uh about to cry when I'm going to our first little basketball game. Who that? Was, my, it, was, my... just, was this your daughter? Or was this somebody else? It was somebody in the picture you was with. You was at a basketball game. You said you got a little emotional about it. I ain't hit. I ain't. Damn! I, I gotta ain't go back. I'll do. I'll yeah. do my little digging and stuff, dog. Yeah, my daughter did. Uh, she did do some junior little. That's junior what it was. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Last year. <laughs> but man, I get. I'd be down there about to cry every time I drop my daughter off from school, bro. No, for I'd sure. Be, every word, I'd be like, damn, what's wrong with me, bro? <laughs> I love my girl though, man. Man, it's something you about know? them daughters. Like, of course, you got that affection for your son. Yeah. But it's like, cause my 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 oldest son, seventeen, old as hell. Mm -hmm. Then my other son, uh, seven. Then my girl is uh, two, about to be three and jump. Okay. So it's like, dog, like that's just, it's a whole yeah, different, different thing. Yeah. You know, I'm tripping. She three. I'm talking about she about to be three. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's a whole different little feeling. Like the little shit that they say get you all feeling a little funny inside, for dog. For sure. For sure, man. <laughs> They precious, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, since we staying a little emotional real quick, man. When the last time you cried, bro, it didn't have nothing to do with death or your daughter? Shit, last week. Yeah, what, what, what was it, though? <laughs> what, what happened? Shit, bro, I be doing so much, bro. I be on the go. Sometimes when you moving, bro, and you, you just don't feel shit building up in life, bro. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I'm going to say shit. It was, just a, it was just life, bro, all together. Mm -hmm. It be a lot of shit, man. And, uh... She, I was feeling that shit in, in the morning. I yeah. went to bed loud by the water, bro. Yeah. Man, just, yeah, that shit go. just hit me. Yeah. You know Smoke me, bro. And I'm good. I reset. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. Reset, yeah, yeah. Shit, I be needing that shit, bro. I no, for sure. It, it, and be okay. Like, you be thinking when you growing up, like, nigga, you think that showing emotion is a sign of weakness, but it ain't. Yeah. Sometimes you got to let that shit go, man. For sure. But I remember not too long ago, I shed a little tear. Me and my wife was talking about something. My son walked in, nigga, I ran away. I ain't want that nigga see Yeah, for sure. I can't let him see me down like this, Yeah, though. a lot of us like that, man. A lot of men like that, bro. I'm, uh... I did Cat Williams sprint out of that boy. Yeah, a lot of fuck out of that, Yeah, but they got to see that, too, man. Let them know, dog. It's cool, bro. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, for sure. Shit, like, you know what I mean? But because, dog, I've been seeing a lot of men, bro, that hold the shit in to the point that shit become cancerous, bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit can fuck you up. Men and women, really. Yeah, yeah, You know, man. just holding on to shit, so let it out, man, however you need to. No, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> if you had to tell somebody about yourself, man, using music, using a song or an album, you press play. This this is your life, bro. Mm -hmm. What's that song or album gonna be? Oh, off the top of my head, I'm gonna say Good Kid, Mad City. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So you was that with that person in the hood. You wasn't you from the hood, but you ain't really like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. From the hood, bro. Yeah. All my friends was like and I was trying to do shit too, bro. Steal cars, do wild shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> my niggas was like, Jay, you hoop, bro. Yeah. No. And salute all my dogs for that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, hey, no, nah, this ain't true, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, good kid, man. City, So, man. classic, classic. I argue with niggas all the time about, I don't know why niggas think To Pimp a Butterfly is a trash album. Bro. Like, you a Kendrick fan. Like, talk, like, like shut up, cuz. Don't say that. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand why people, like, that's, to me, that is my favorite Kendrick album. Yeah. Listen, bro, this is what I think, man. This ain't no knock on nobody. but And I know this shit gonna have niggas feeling like, well, nigga, fuck you, nigga. What yeah, you trying to say? For sure. This is how I feel, bro. Cole got a way more simple delivery. Okay. So it's easy to digest. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A nigga that ain't trying to think too tough, I'm gonna go with Cole. Yeah. I'm a thinker, bro. Yeah, 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 I like yeah. to dissect shit and get in. Pimp, pimple Butterfly, bro. Kendrick said it like, y'all niggas ain't even gonna really know it till five years later. For sure. This shit is deep, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a message in that shit. So that's how I feel, bro. If you a nigga that wanna look into it, you gonna see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But if not, you ain't, bro. And it's cool. Yeah, bro. it's all good. It's all good, you know? man. Who, who's a rapper that niggas would be surprised that you a fan of? Uh, dog, I listen to everybody. Yeah. Uh, I fuck with Larry June. Hey. Oh, nigga, yeah. Larry June, the man, dog. Yeah. Larry June and Currency is like the two niggas I. And I know he gonna drop something consistently. Yes, sir. Them two niggas, dog. Yeah, like, I've fuck. been fucking with that nigga Currency since the whole when he was with Young Money and Junk, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? On Carter Two and shit like. Yeah, yeah. I fuck, man, damn. That's them. Them questions be messing me up, bro. I listen to so many people, bro. Mm -hmm. um, I fuck with this dude named Rex Life Raj. Oh, nigga, that's a shit. Hey, cause my 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 mom my mom passed, so that first album, oh nigga, kind of can't God, I can't listen bro. to it too much, dog. Like yeah. that nigga rest hard. Yeah, that's yeah. how I know you. Yeah, you fuck with the music shit. Yeah, dog. I be listening to all type of shit, bro. When I listen to YouTube, I hear a little bit. Of what's name? Like I ain't saying you mocking it or nothing like that, but I hear a little bit of um, 
I hear a lot of South Dungeon family. I hear a lot of um, Big Crit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your style. Like, yeah. talk about your style and, like, discovering your sound and shit. Uh, man, I, uh, I take shit from everything I listen to, bro. I don't mm. really even know how to, like, depict my style, dog. It's like, um... It's hard, bro. It's hard. I've definitely fuck with uh, Andre 3000. Yeah, though. yeah, hell yeah, heavy, hell yeah. bro. Um, yeah, just lyrical. This niggas as sure. lyricists, you know. Um, a lot of people say they like my music, bro, because I'm dropping gems, but it ain't too. I'm not trying to preach your head off. For it sure. ain't Talib yeah. and, and comments like yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. It's still cool. Like you know how to say that shit and make it sound cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know, that's that's my style. Being a three staff fan, are you disappointed he never dropped that solo album everybody wanted? Hell yeah, I wanna hear that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh I love dog, man. You know what's crazy about uh three stacks, bro? I got a uh sax, bro. Mm -hmm. My mentor gave me a saxophone, bro, mm -hmm. like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I I've been putting it in my music like nigga I'm gonna say fuck rapping and play yeah, my horn. Yeah, I said we was listening to some shit. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga did that and picked up the flute. Duh. So I said, damn, that nigga's gonna think I'm trying to be like this nigga, but I ain't mad at him, bro. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of people was mad at that shit, but you never know, bro. He still, yeah. it ain't over. He still could do it. Yeah, it ain't over, dog. I want it, bro. I want that junk, dog. For yeah, real, for real. Sure. What's the worst advice and best advice you received being a uh, it could be an artist, it could be a father, it could be a, a human. Like, what's some advice you that stand out on some good shit and the ones that be like, dog, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, on some good shit, bro, I can say, um, uh, I got some, um, Dom Kennedy and, um, Jan Sports, this um, producer named Jan Sport J out there mm -hmm. in LA, Hit Boy and them guys, they they go by a slogan, all attraction, no chasing. For sure. That's the best uh, advice I ever got. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Don't sure. be chasing niggas, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't be chasing at all. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't run around chasing niggas, man. Track that shit, bro. Build mm -hmm. something that's respectable, bro, so niggas can look over at what you built. Like, yeah. okay, I'll fuck with you. Bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bro, I don't listen to dumb shit. I can't even. <laughs> I can't think of no dumb shit a nigga yeah. to tell me, bro. Because it'd be one ear and not the other, you yeah. feel me? But, yeah, um, yeah all yeah. the track. Yeah, I'll, for sure. Niggas sleep with my nigga down, dog. Come on, bro. Yeah. Getting yeah. to it, bro. For sure. Independently. Now, dog, before, you know what I'm saying, because we, we kind of all over, but it makes sense. Everything yeah. makes sense, yeah, dog. It's all good. Hooping, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you you got you got titles. You know what I'm saying? You hoop one of the coldest niggas with Eric Evans and man. shit, dog. Yeah. You know Rick, bro? You know Rick Bills? Yep. Ricardo yep, Bills, yep, yeah. Yep. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah I uh. think back then, during that era, like, nigga, I know everybody probably say that shit as they grew up, like, my era is better. But back then, bro, like, them early 2000s, mm-hmm. Niggas, you had to come with your A game when you was hooping, bro. Listen, bro, and this just for me. This some old shit. Niggas gonna be like, man, you know some bullshit. <laughs> the, to me, dog, the game changed for sure. I feel like niggas was bigger. Mm -hmm. Everybody was bigger, tougher. Yeah. You know, niggas weren't calling these petty ass fouls. Exactly. Yeah. And like you said, bro, you couldn't. It wasn't no. You just had to bring your A game, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's where Rick Nim came from. To me, that's why I was a freshman. He was a senior. Yeah. Mo Egger. Uh, yep, yo, 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 Crockett and Joe. Yeah, yeah man. I was looking at them niggas like. Yeah, because I went to SC, so you had BJ. Yeah. You had Big Walk. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Then I, Finney, you had Puna, uh, Jonathan Kelly. Yeah. Man, Ray you. Felton. Oh, nigga. You yeah. Had, I usually had like niggas like you, 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 some dogs, man. But I think that, be, that is different now in comparison to back then. Is that like nigga? When you hoop, you hoop. You went anywhere to go hoop. Nowadays, these kids they they not hooping outside. They not playing twenty one. They just training with cones all day. They not playing against grown niggas. Yeah, bro. You know when I was a little nigga playing with grown niggas, you can't call no stupid ass foul because exactly. you gotta be like respected to even call a foul. For sure, nigga. Unless you get like put on your ass, you can't really say nothing. Yeah. Or you won't be able to hoop on this court again. Exactly. That's see. That's another thing too. You wanted to play. I wanted to play the older niggas, yeah. bro. I was like that, bro. I ain't want to play nobody. I could just beat the dog out, bro. Mm -hmm. I want to play nigga that was just beating me every day. I'm yeah. going home crying. And shit. <laughs> yeah. I was that kid, bro. Yeah. Until I could beat you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want that, bro. These kids trying to yeah. play JV. Niggas want to be 16 playing JV, scoring 60. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. You know niggas. My son played varsity. And his homeboy, they both play on JV together. I'm like, why your homeboy still playing on JV? 
Like, cause it was enough room on varsity. Nigga, you get cut then. Nigga, exactly. you don't play JV at fucking yeah. 11th grade, dog. If you do, Step you was up. getting clowned. Exactly. Like, nigga, you, you be you 11. Could, <laughs> yeah, you couldn't even do that. I don't think you was even able to do that shit. And if you did, nigga, you wouldn't even want to go to school and say, I'm on JV. Yeah. Cause, nigga, sure. th- guess what? All 11th grade is going to be at the games laughing at your ass. 12th grade is like, nigga, look yeah. at this nigga, 16 playing JV. <laughs> For sure. That's crazy. That's why I say, niggas, they be trying to just hold these niggas and pat them on the back and baby them too yeah. much, bro. If you can't make the team, try again next year, dog. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That's it, man. Because oh, yeah. I'm, that's why I knew like coming back to PSL, coming back to Detroit Public Schools. I had uh, my mom had moved. We moved out to Gross Point, mm-hmm. so I went to Gross Point North and John. I'm hoping for them. I get kicked out because I'm like I'm just doing stupid shit, dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they found well, they, they found out I moved, so they kicked me out. But on the whole squad, the coach was racist. Like nigga, don't have your hair like this. Don't mm-hmm. do this. So I just walked Type off. Yeah. I came back here, man, nigga. I ain't know that like Detroit schools, they got their squad. They picking their niggas from eighth grade. Uh-huh. I come in here trying out for one spot, nigga. It's five hundred niggas trying out. Like, exactly. Man, yeah. fuck this. I cry my ass off. I ain't make yeah. that team. Dog. Yeah, bro. That shit is a dog eat dog, bro. Now talk about playing at Kobo, cause niggas don't know that, that feeling of playing at Kobo hard, bro. Bro, that shit was legendary, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit was legendary, bro. I played with some dogs, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Won three state championships, bro. Yeah, I, I went to Kobo. That was my freshman year. I went to Kobo yeah. with Rick. Now I ain't go to Kobo no more after that. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying. I won a state championship my um, sophomore, junior, senior, back mm-hmm. to back. Yep. Yep. Um. Yeah, bro. That shit just be. Yeah. You be in the zone. You, bro. you missed that, them hoop days? Hell yeah, bro. I love basketball, bro. Yeah. I need to get back in there. I ain't hooped in forever. Yeah. Bro, be in the gym every day telling me get back in there, but um. Man, cause like now. I- I don't like hooping y'all because that shit hurt. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now I, just, like. I coach, man. I coach like uh, mm-hmm. I just started. I've been coaching school ball for a minute. Now this is my first year uh, being a head coach for my girls AAU team. Okay. So I got middle school girls, man. We won our first two games. I was hype, bro. Like yeah. One about first game by ten, second one by uh, fifteen. I'm like, all right, we 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 own to something, dog. That's hard, bro. Hell yeah, you never thought about getting to coaching. I was just coaching, bro. Yeah. I did. I coached for a minute with Rick, bro. My DJ, he coached. Yeah. And um, uh, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. These kids different, bro. <laughs> These kids is different, bro. Fast. Like, uh, <laughs> for real, dog. I'm like, damn, I gotta really be ready for this shit, bro. I don't know if it's the phones or what, bro. I really mm. think it's due to the phone, dog. Yeah. Like, they attention span shot, bro. Ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really there, so it's like, I ain't uh, I couldn't. And then the situation at the um uh, at the school, it was it was a lot going on, so. Mm. But yeah, I definitely, bro. I be thinking about that all the time, bro. Yeah. Just dealing with the kid, not even coaching, bro. Like yeah. on some life coach shit. Yeah, for sure. I just no, be wanting to be around the they kid. They need some of that shit for they real. They need it, bro. Badly, dog. Bad yeah. fucking lead, dog. <laughs> they do, bro. So now you you hooped in uh like you said you hoop high school three uh championships in jungle ball mm-hmm. state like what um what ended your uh the hoop run. Uh man, on some life shit, bro. My grandma passed, bro. Oh, all right, rest in peace. Like my junior year, mm-hmm. I was just going through it, bro. And then um, some crazy, like this. This will happen at my Ball State shit, bro. I think my sophomore year, I fractured my ankle, bro. Okay, they gave me some Vikings and shit. Yeah. Fast forward, bro, because I'm I'm speaking. We going straight to the to the so, meat of the story, bro. It. Right, we go bowling, bro. Uh, this is dude played in the NBA, Bonzi Wells. We go bowling with Bonzi. Yeah. Bonzi used to fuck with us heavy, bro. Hey, he he ain't going to Ball State? Yeah, he, yeah, he, he went, went to Ball State. Ball State yeah. Yeah. We go bowling with Bonzi, bro. We leave the bowling alley racing and shit down the back street. Mm-hmm. Police get behind us, bro. I got some pants on, bro. Mm. They pull us over, uh, pull us all out the car. I got one of the pills in my pocket. All right. He like, you know this a felony? Yeah. Took me to jail that night, bro. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Bonzi bailed me out. Shout out to Bonzi, yeah, bro. I appreciate sure. it. <laughs> Six o'clock that next morning, bro, I had the front article on the pay, uh, school paper. Damn. The ball state guard get out on prescribed drugs. Everybody oh. calling me. You got caught with some weed? You got mm-hmm. caught with some? I'm like, damn. Yeah. The new coach came in that same morning, bro. I'm on the paper. This this isn't first impression of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm stressed out, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I damn near, I ain't even get kicked out of nothing, bro. I just came home. Yeah. My junior year, a little bit into my junior year, I came home. Yeah. Got on my music shit. Yeah, you was done. You, any regrets with, 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 with that? Like, just leaving it and just saying, fuck it? Or? Nah, not at all, bro. That yeah. shit went how I was gonna go, you know what For I'm sure. saying? I had a lot of fun. I met met some of my uh, best friends in school, bro. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all my dogs from Ball State. Hell yeah, hell For yeah. Sure. What, type of, what type of hooper was you, like, if you had to um, kind of, like, Say you was you mirrored this person game a little bit. 
Ooh, mirror this person. I just fucked with Mellow Heavy. Yeah. But I don't think that's how my game was. Like, I think I was more like a Jamal Crawford uh, yeah. type nigga. Like, just a wing, bro. For sure, for sure. Uh, I play like, um, you know, Chris Doug, bro. Yeah. Chris Doug. The, the, the coldest. Yeah. Uh, God damn, Chris Doug was hard, yeah, dog. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Jordan. Jordan Crawford. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Jordan Crawford, boy. Like, man, we had, no, Detroit, man, we, we be fucking niggas up with everything, dog. On, I ain't bro. gonna lie to you, dog. <laughs> The one of the coldest niggas I seen was that nigga Manny Harris, dog. Come on, bro. Dog. <laughs> Come on, dog. It's so many, dog. <laughs> dog. Salute it's just, all the hoop These little niggas, niggas man, we, they, dog, they will fuck y'all up right now, I'm boy. I'm telling you, to, <laughs> to this day, bro. To this yeah, day. For sure. Niggas hey, and it. nigga, Kurt. Kurt got, man, Kurt made me mad, dog, because, like, I ain't the best I nigga. Kurt, I never say I'm just the coldest nigga. I was decent. Yeah. My nigga, uh, Chauncey, had uh, brought Kurt to the, um, to the hood. Mm-hmm. Like, who's this nigga, dog? Because, you know, I'm hooping with Chauncey. Who's this nigga? Man, that nigga had bounce. That nigga, Kurt got game. And Kurt played like a pro in high school. Like, exactly. It look, just look good. His game yeah, is pretty, yeah, game smooth. pretty good. Like, that nigga whole demeanor just too smooth, too yeah. cool for school, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kurt. For but sure. Kurt had game. Like, Hell that whole yeah. king. Like, them niggas had. Because mm-hmm. my man had went to Tennessee. Who, what was that nigga name? Romar. Romar, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. nigga, uh, ooh, I got a crazy story, bro. Uh, we went to King and played. And Romar was younger than us, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, Romar was uh, strong as hell, bro. I would yeah. think I was a... Was I a senior? <laughs> that nigga was hitting me with moves, bumping me and shit. Yeah. Telling my coach, this nigga can't fucking check me. Damn. Screaming at my coach. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so shit, look. The Lord was with me. I ain't gonna lie. I left with a 30, 30 ball in the dub yeah. at King. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But sure. that nigga was a different, yeah, bro. Man, yeah, like, man, yeah. Shout out to my nigga Watson. He know my dog Terrence Watson, too. I'm with yeah. the bird. Yep, T.Y. Yeah. That's my yeah, dog, bro. Yeah, Los yeah. Medlock. Yep, yep, Those man. my guys, bro. Yeah, yeah good days. Yeah. Good fucking days, yeah, man. Sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but yeah, man, basketball shit. You definitely like that whole life coach shit. Like these 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 young kids, man, girls and boys, they definitely need somebody in their ear, man. Because a lot of times I notice in with me coaching, a lot of these parents don't give a fuck. A lot of these That's teachers it. and these these schools don't give a damn. That's they it, they going in for a check, man. Yep. And, you know, I had a little girl, man. I ain't gonna lie, I damn near cry. She hit me up like, congratulate me on my win, cause she played for somebody else. Mm-hmm. She like, love you, coach. I'm like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah, man. fuck on my emotions. And it's shit, like bro. that, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, rest in peace, Coach Russ, bro. I had a coach, bro. He, I met him at foot action, bro. I was in uh, eighth grade. Mm-hmm. He's like Utah, bro. He brought us in, bro. This is my first A A U team, Rockhounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, paying for that shit out of his pocket, bro. We renting vans. His girlfriend helping us, mm-hmm. paying out paying uniforms and shit. And, uh, that meant the world to us, bro. We yeah. stayed at his house in the summer. Yeah. That nigga was like our dad, bro. Yeah, for sure. This shit stay with you forever. All my coaches, bro, yeah. was like father figures. So yeah, you got them right. You got the ones that really do it for a reason, man. The right yeah. reason, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, so, so yeah, shout out to the real coaches, man. Yeah. Not you old, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. But uh, I mean, you touched on it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? As far as like growing up, you know what I'm saying, with moms and, and grandma jumped up. But talk about growing up a little bit in the household. Uh, siblings and, and and tell me that one thing that you missed that your grandma used to cook, dog. Mm. Bro, my grandma cooked, bro. <laughs> my grandma cooked everything. And I bet she bro. probably had a little house robe on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> grandma was dog. the truth, bro. Um, Miss that shit, dog. Damn, just on some basic shit. I'm gonna say mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. It definitely wasn't basic, though, man. For sure. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, those was the days, bro. Mm. My, and my grandma, man, everybody ate. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody ate, bro. My For grandma sure. feed feed anybody homeless man knock on our yeah. door. He got it. He she gonna make sure he live with some. Yeah. Yeah. So. For sure. Hey, you has so you from the, you from the east? I'm from the west, man. From the west? Yeah. Okay, okay. Like Dexter, Dexter West Grand Boulevard. Okay. I stay right by Northwestern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, what, what made you not go to Northwestern? Um, I ain't go to none of my neighborhood schools. That was my people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, my grandma worked for the Board of Education, bro. So she was making sure my schools was. I went to Malcolm X Academy mm-hmm. for kindergarten through eighth grade. Mm-hmm. You know, had a different upbringing there. Then I went to Rogers. You know, yeah, that was military. For sure. yeah. Military type shit, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. You said Malcolm X. I, I'm yeah. thinking about the song you had wrote, uh, Detroit, Detroit Red. Detroit Red, yeah. yeah talk yeah. about that song, man. Oh, man. Told you, I got only having yeah. niggas. I be knowing, man. I got <laughs> tapped in. Niggas nah, be. I appreciate hey, you other podcasts, that, niggas are. Uh, nigga, know, know the nigga who come on the show. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> some other niggas hit me up. For everybody that done hit me, man, do y'all do y'all <laughs> homework, man, so we can chop it up. But oh, yeah. yeah, bro, Detroit Red. Um, For shit, for everybody don't know, man, Malcolm X, before he was Malcolm X, bro, mm-hmm. 
he he had he went through some other shit, bro. For sure, he was yeah, another yeah. person, bro. <laughs> no fast, hell yeah. Uh, we ain't even gonna keep it going. Yeah. He was fucking with the hoes, pimping white hoes and shit. Doing all that type <laughs> of shit. But listen, uh, yeah. And then he he graduated to Malcolm X. You yeah. feel me? So that song was about that man. Like no matter who you is, bro. Like grow you we we, we got to grow up. You mm -hmm. feel me? We got to get to that. But yeah. uh, and then at the same time, still saying I ain't Malcolm X shit. Yeah, you yeah, feel me? I'm sure. still. Battling, so yo. yeah. Now, listen to your music, man. Like, and being an artist, do you feel like people gotta to be a real rapper, a real to really make good music? That's that people gonna understand. You gotta live life. When I say live life, like a lot of times, nigga, we only talk about what we see every day on the block. Mm -hmm. Like when I say live life, like getting out, seeing shit. Like, do you feel like a nigga gotta really live life to be able to put out good music? Um. I feel like living life could be in the hood still. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're experiencing. Um, but yeah, I feel like you definitely got to have some experiences, bro, mm -hmm. for people to connect with. You know what I'm saying? So, most definitely, bro. Um, oh. But at the same time, I told you, I write, bro. I'm a writer, so um, you could get experiences from your man, bro, who's yeah. living life. Yeah, facts. You know, if this nigga sit up, sit up, sit next to you mm -hmm. long enough, you could yeah. be like, yeah, let me. <laughs> yeah. So it's all type of ways, you know what I'm saying, to get your music off. For sure, hell yeah. yeah. Now you say you started doing the music in college, young dog, but at what point did you feel like, you know what, this shit can really, it, this can take me somewhere. Like, I can really do something with this music shit. Mm, at what point? Yeah, I'm going to say um, my freshman year, we opened up for a little scrappy, man. Okay, um, okay, okay. You know, my dog, I was rapping with my dog Marcus on the football team. Yeah. Shit, we opened up for a little scrappy. Crowd was packed. I'm like, oh, this shit's serious. Yeah, bro. for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was it right there. That was the point. That you Talk about that the first song you recorded and, and just talk about now, like your whole studio process, what you need, mm -hmm. the vibe, like just talk about that, that first day. And just like now, how do you gotta go ahead and go about your whole studio time? Uh, studio time, bro. Same thing. We just called our man's on the football team had to set up, mm -hmm. so we was in the dorm with it. But uh, then I started paying for studio time, bro. When I was doing that, I never uh write in the studio because I'm paying for that shit. Hell yeah, gotta come prepared. Hell yeah. So you could ask any engineer I work with, bro. I'm pr I be pressing. Like, mm -hmm. come on, bro. I ain't in this yeah. waste of time. Let's, <laughs> sure. Let me get the most yeah. out of my money. Exactly. Don't waste my shit. Yeah. So. Then right now, bro, we all money in. I be at Broke Head, bro. Mm -hmm. It's the fam, bro. So we on, uh, we got our own studio. Mm -hmm. You know, make gotta make it make sense. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how we rocking right now. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. So uh, you just you just dropped the project not too long ago. Um, Lucky yeah. Seven, right? Yeah, I dropped the Lucky Seven. Talk about that and just talk about like the anticipation you have when you putting out this this music. Like, what do you? What do you want to get out of these projects when you put them out? Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you get the love that you deserve in the city? Because like I say, you got a lot of niggas that's rapping, but you really be saying some shit, dog. Like, you yeah. really got some shit that you, you know what I'm saying, putting out. For sure. Okay. I'm going to start with the Lucky 7 shit. Then we're going to get into the duo. I think I get the <laughs> love I deserve. For sure. Uh, Lucky 7, bro. I was just, uh, I just moved back home from L.A., bro. Probably, mm. it's about two years now. I was out there for about three and a half years. Did them songs out there, bro, and then I moved back. So the transition was like I still had them songs from when I was out there. Okay. So I kind of put the project out kind of late, bro. Yeah. I was back in the DR already. That was just me uh, keeping my word, like I'm gonna put this shit out. For sure. Uh, so that's how that project. Shout out to 80 Beats, man. That's my mm. dog. He produced everything on there. Okay. <clears throat> 80 hard as hell. I fuck with the project. I think I got, I got the love I deserved on the joint. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like I get the love I deserve, bro, in the city. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? From the people. Yeah. Nah, when it comes to the who's who's, bro. Yeah, for sure. On some G shit, bro. I feel like a lot of niggas. I know, I know a yeah. lot of niggas, bro. Yeah, yeah I know these niggas. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And, uh, I feel like a lot of niggas just be watching, bro. Mm -hmm. When really they could push a button, like. Let me do this for you, Yeah, dog. for sure, you, for sure. You like that. Yeah, but yeah. a nigga DM me, bro, or hit me in private, like, bro, you, I seen you drop that. <laughs> it's like, so it be a lot of that shit going oh, on, exactly. bro. Exactly, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's how that's how I move in the city. But on some organic shit, bro, the people fuck with me, bro. Mm -hmm. Heavy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I be feeling that same way. Nigga be like, yo, your podcast hard. Nigga, nigga why the fuck you didn't say shit? <laughs> Internet crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, nigga be like, nigga, private, but then they shot somebody else out, man. But it's all love. I love yeah, all y'all niggas, sure. dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get frustrated because you be, when you see, like, trash niggas that's, like, really making noise or really getting the love? You like, because we all, we all think it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dog. It de it depends, man. Like I don't I don't really never hate on niggas, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying, uh, and then niggas um uh, niggas go different routes, bro. I feel like uh 
it was like entertainment more than like actual like good content or mm-hmm. like wholesome shit. Niggas wanted to go viral. So yeah, yeah. like you say, trash nigga, most times a trash nigga is funny, bro, and entertaining mm-hmm. or whatever. It's just something to yeah, it. Yeah, for it, sure. So. <laughs> nah, I definitely don't get mad, bro. Yeah. yeah. Now you say uh you've been going consistently every Monday with the Nas Mondays and yeah. stuff like that. What 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 made you start that from the beginning? Like was it something like, all right, this is a different way to get my music out, yeah. different way to build a fan base? Like how did it start from the from the jump? I had just moved to LA, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember like it was yesterday. Moved to North Hollywood, bro. Um uh my guy that my guy that moved um uh, helped me get out there bro he was on some like dog i'm gonna I'm a do this for, for y'all bro mm-hmm. y'all job is to figure it out out here mm-hmm. you know i don't know this shit either but yeah. um and shit that's what it was i was figuring it out bro i was going to studios linking with niggas and i was like let me just up my camera bro mm-hmm. and start a youtube channel yeah i got a good response off that shit i'm like let me do it next monday mm-hmm. too you yeah for that. sure I swear I've been doing that shit since then, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Cause that's when Kurt had told me about you, that's when I had went straight there and started watching that. Like, oh man, yeah. dog got dog really rough for real. Yeah. I done got so many opportunities off the Mondays, bro. Mm-hmm. I done made it, I done made my bag off the Mondays, bro. Nah, that's dope. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell. So this, this year you trying you gonna try to go the whole you know uh, what I'm saying? Whole year. Yeah, I don't be pressuring myself, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure, but that's the plan. It, yeah, I put it in the bar, though. Like, uh, I skipped, I skipped, I be skipping Mondays, and I yeah. said, like, I got to like that shit myself. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't feeling like I just, I'm pressured to do yeah, that shit. Yeah, just put some shots just for the fuck of it. Yeah, like, you got to hit. Now, uh, I do this thing, man, called Talk About the Bars. I take a bar, and we talk about it from a song you did. Yeah, that's hard. On UConn, you say, uh, uh, unlike these niggas, I do this shit because I love it. Yeah. Talk about that, like, do you think a lot of niggas do music just because it's the popular thing to do right now? A hundred percent, bro. Yeah. A hundred percent. I be thinking about that, too, bro, because I was doing this shit when it was not trendy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, because of that. Uh, my uncle, bro, my uncle wrote my first rap for me when I was three, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally <laughs> been rapping since a little ass yeah. kid, bro. Freestyling yeah. in the halls, all through school, me and all my dogs. Uh, yeah, so when I do this shit, bro, like, I would do it. For free, bro, really. Mm-hmm. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I get frustrated. I be like, damn, everybody doing this shit, bro. Like, chill out, bro. <laughs> Find your thing, bro. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you might be a chef, bro. You might be hard. For sure. <laughs> Niggas, try, everybody trying to rap. This shit crazy, bro. Yeah, they be thinking, because, man, I ain't gonna lie. I remember when um, my girl at the time told me she was pregnant. I'm like, I'm about to be a rapper. I'm gonna get rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. thought it was that easy, dog. Uh, I, I went to go to my man's uh, crib, recorded this song called Twenty Foes. Man. Nigga, up that shit on uh, MySpace, like, yep, we about to it's blow the fuck yeah. up, nigga. I'm about to get a million. It's oversaturated, bro. <laughs> it's so it's so many niggas rapping, bro. You got to really set yourself apart. Yeah. Uh, man, no, you do. You yeah, do. On, on, on Kobe, you say it's, uh, it's like all my dreams in America because they closer than they appear. Yeah. Talk about that, bro. Like... Like, cause you have you be at a point of like when you see it, but it's like that it's right there, but that shit like nigga so far away, you know what I'm saying, to to grab. I would say that's just like some um just throughout my journey, bro. And then I was in LA at the time. Mm-hmm. In Hollywood, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit and literally, bro, in the middle of that shit. I'm seeing I'm hooping with Chris Brown and shit at the twenty four hour fitness. Yeah. That's yeah. what I meant. Like <laughs> I'm right around this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. So yeah. um, you know, going to the Interscope building every day, like mm-hmm. Just really seeing the industry, bro, from yeah. the inside of it. Yeah. Feeling like, damn, this shit close. Man. You know what I'm saying? Throw a rock in there, motherfucker, yeah, dog. Yeah, for real. For on that same song, you said, uh, been rapping, where the fuck y'all been? I shouldn't have to ask my, uh, all my niggas to post shit up on the ground. Yeah. Like, just talk about that, like that, because like, a lot of people talk about that shit, like when they doing something, niggas mm-hmm. will promote somebody they don't know at all. Yeah. And then when coming to you, it's like, oh man, good job. Yeah, bro. Uh, you you just start to notice that shit, bro. Yeah. Like the number one thing I start to notice, bro, was that a complete stranger would show me more love than people I the person I grew up with, bro, mm-hmm. all my life. Mm-hmm. So what I did so I wouldn't be frustrated, bro, was stop expecting shit from my friends and shit, people mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. Start attracting these new. Like I then because of that, I done met some of my best friends to this day. Yeah. Off of that. No, for just sure. Coming in off some genuine shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Hell yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. Like, damn, I'll be watching. I don't watch some of my mans. Like niggas be that's what I'm talking about. Like, bro, you doing your thing, bro. <laughs> like, damn, bro. <laughs> Like show show that same love in public, bro. Yeah, yeah, they gonna do that shit, dog. Yeah. Especially if they doing the same thing you doing. They be yeah. like, no, this nigga might, you know, say up me or some shit, yeah. dog. And then some niggas just don't want to see you winning, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that's crazy. Like, I be I be happy, like dog. This is my this is my uncle, but he my producer too. So whenever he got opportunity doing something, yeah. If he went, I feel like shit. I want to, nigga. We, 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 we out here, dog. Listen, bro. I just called my brother, man. I just called my brother last week, like dog. I just want to tell you, I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah. 
This is my bro in LA. He got a show coming out, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, Clip. It's a show about the Clippers and shit. Okay. He playing Jamal Crawford in the show. For sure. But he doing his thing, bro. He got a baby on the way, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, dog, I'm proud of you, That's bro. Hard. Yeah. I said, bask in that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just, just bro, you yeah. did it, bro. You no, know for what sure. So, for sure. When you got real ones around you, bro, yeah. that's really happy for yeah. you. It just hit different, bro. Yeah, yeah. And them, them your people, they win, gonna feel like your win. Yeah, and bro. And vice versa, yeah. dog. And when you put out that energy, you get that back. Mm -hmm. But if you secretly hating on the low, bro, you can't expect to really win, bro. No, not at all. Like, you gonna get that back, bro. Hell yeah. You know I mean? On journal entry one, you say hit the community and the physical fuck the computer yeah talk about that because right now everybody think promotion is just all about being online on ig on tiktok like niggas forget about that whole you know saying re being your face and meeting niggas shaking hands and shit yeah uh man that's a real one bro yeah. um like i said that internet shit bro ain't really it don't really um equate to real uh people coming out bro and selling mm -hmm. real tickets in real life yeah i'll be having twenty thousand views on a video bro of me telling niggas, I'm, uh, come to R&B Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20,000. <laughs> 50, 60 people might pull up. You feel know? yeah, so yeah. like, <laughs> I learned, bro, you got to get outside in real time, bro. Mm -hmm. Don't depend on your internet promo and all that. Like, get yeah. out and touch real people, bro. Go out, let people see your sure. face. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's why I yeah, said. That's some shit I got to do my, my damn self with this shit. Like, a lot of times, like, my homeboy, uh, Diddy, like, nigga, you got to... Uh, shit, damn, should I still call you Diddy, though? <laughs> but you like, you gotta get out there and let niggas know who you are. Yeah, for sure. You know sure, what I'm saying? Man. You say, uh, you say a lot, of, a lot of shit on that, on that uh, journal entry. You say, Daddy been grinding. I'm gonna spend the whole summer with my baby. Yeah. Talk about that. Like, you just trying to make it so you can, you know what I'm saying, spend more time with your, with your daughter. Like, yeah. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's because uh, my daughter, um, she was born in LA. Mm hmm. But they had moved back to Detroit, bro, like after like six months of her being here, bro. We started mm -hmm. going through it. I end up staying out there, bro, for like a year and a half after them. Mm -hmm. And then I moved back home. Then I moved back out there, bro, for three years without her. Yeah. I used to get her every summer and for the Christmas breaks and school, yeah. shit like that. But I'm like, that ain't enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? For mm -hmm. me to be getting you during the summer. Yeah. Like, that's why I came back home. Like, yeah. I need full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that FaceTime shit wasn't yeah. doing. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you so. missing out on that, on them, on them precious moments and stuff, man. Yeah, my girl getting big, so that's what that yeah. was. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, uh, you want your other kids, or are you? I got I got one on the way, bro. Oh, you do? Oh, shit, congrats, yeah, dog. Appreciate hell yeah. You, hell yeah. you know what uh, you know what you having? Another little girl. Oh, man. shit. <laughs> you, you must be a dirty motherfucker, man. <laughs> 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 No, man. I'm talking shit. I'm talking Listen, shit. I'm young Kobe, man. Girl, <laughs> girl no, dad. No, that's what's up. That's what's up. Congrats, yeah. bro. When when when, uh, when y'all do? She doing the summer, man. Yeah, oh summer, shit, man. Yeah. August August first for real. Yeah, my uh, my yeah. brother uh, he just hit me up. They got a new due date, man. I guess the end of August and shit, man. So yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's shit, what's I'm, up. I'm July 26, so you know. Yeah. Leo gang, she might drop on my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. dog. That's dope. That's dope, man. I got another one, boy. You gotta yeah. get them get them guns right. Yeah, for sure. That's why I'm, I'm that's why I won't go like this, bro. Man, you say coming where I'm from is either sports or music. Yeah. Like 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 that's true. But are you seeing like a little change now where everything is going on with these niggas on they doing like, you know, saying you got this, you got you know what I'm saying, you got different things and different avenues, like, you know. Definitely. My son been doing shit. He into this whole little making videos and editing and shit like that. So mm -hmm. you think it's still like that? Mm. Or it's starting to change a little bit? Yeah. That's a tricky one, bro. I feel like that's what we think. Mm hmm I think it's always been way more. Mm hmm I think that's the only options that we think we got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's all we do. That's all I saw niggas trying to rap or hoop their way out, yeah. out the shit, but yeah, it's definitely way more today, man. We getting it, uh, we run the bag up off streaming, you know what I'm sure, saying? So sure. it's it's definitely more for the uh for the kids to do, man. And um, I feel like the trades is where it's at, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. having you some, you you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We we heavy on barber, barber school, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But whatever it is, man, I think that's uh that's that's important mm -hmm. for them. I don't know why I just popped my head, but as an artist, do you think you would thrive more if you was coming up earlier in the, in, your, in life, like in the Early 2000s, late 90s. Sometimes you be in the, just you just be born in the wrong era. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> like I a swear. certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I be thinking about that, yeah. bro. I be thinking about even on the hoop tip, bro. Like the highlight shit, the YouTube shit mm -hmm. wasn't cracking like that at all. I got at we all. got crazy highlights, shit. bro. I, man, at all, dog. Yeah, so. It's easy to get out there. I think the first nigga I seen like that went crazy on on a mixtape was it John Wall? Mm. I know what's ain't shit. You can say what you want. His shit was legendary. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Austin Rivers. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, for you sure, can say what you want. Sure. That they nigga put, was going crazy on that shit, <laughs> dog. Was, you sure. can talk about that nigga. He was putting up yeah, 50 yeah. pieces. Like, <laughs> That's a fact, bro. bro. Like, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. But, dog, sometimes, like, I be thinking, like, damn, like, maybe... I should have been born with them niggas in the 90s and 80s. Like, nigga, that shit look fun. Like, you just yeah. look at the whole music and shit. Just, yeah. I'm watching some old Michael Jackson when nigga first hit the motherfucking moonwalk. Yeah. Niggas in the crowd going crazy. For and you, guess what? It was none of this. Oh, God. No phone, just nigga. Niggas there. just enjoying the moment, though. fully there, yeah. Yeah, like, I think now with social media and with the phones, you, 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 you don't really enjoy the moment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna talk about this shit. Like, yeah. now nah, I gotta show you, I gotta prove I was there. Exactly. Back the then, the niggas was like, hey, I saw Michael do the first moon. Yeah. Yeah, he did that moonwalk, exactly. nigga. I went crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I was just in it. I was right there with him. Yeah, Hell yeah. like, prove it. Like, nigga, yeah. hey, nigga, I was there, nigga. Yeah, nigga, go, <laughs> nigga go to a nigga, pay 200 to go to a concert and watch it through their phone. Dog, exactly, dog. Yeah, like, so. like, man, like, you gotta just. And sometimes we all fall victim to it. As soon as, nigga, we was just saying happy birthday the other day. Niggas got to pull the phone out. Like, yeah. dog, we can't even say happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, man. Without pulling that bitch yeah. out, dog. Niggas dying. You got to pull the phone out, yeah. dog. Everything, oh, bro. So. For sure. So on, on some family shit, on some in-house, yo, inter yo immediate family, yeah. it's good to have y'all moments with, uh, let's put them phones up. Yeah, yeah. No, Hold for on, sure. Man. Yeah, put that shit down a little bit, dog. Yeah. Now, uh, the last one, you say, um... A lot of these niggas, uh, a lot of these niggas that's flashy, that's flashing this money, it's funny they can't rap. Yeah. I'm standing on that. I don't want. I don't. I don't got nobody uh, hand on my back. Mm -hmm. Talk about this shit. I fucked your shit all up. <laughs> 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 it's funny they really can't rap. I'm standing on that. I do what I want. I got nobody hand on my back. Yeah, that's yeah. what. That's it. That's it. That's the right way, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I fucked sure. this whole bar. Like, I had to think about it. Like, <laughs> you like that? that was, like. I made this shit sound trash. <laughs> yeah. uh, shit, just trolling, bro. Just trolling, dog. Niggas gonna put that money phone to their ear. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But I be on some rap shit, bro. Like yeah. niggas be trash, bro. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to like just? Just like kind of like air niggas out on, on the song, like just start some shit. Like always, bro. <laughs> I be doing that shit, bro. I got shit with. I got this songs right now for niggas, bro. My, niggas, my cousin be like, bro, name it, everybody, bro. I be getting mad as hell, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, I'm human, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And just on some real shit, dog. I know my. I know where I'm at with this rap shit, bro. Yeah, and yeah, I bro. listen to everybody. I salute all the other niggas that can rap, but it's just like. Like I say, from the who's who's, bro, that shit don't get reciprocated. Yeah, sure. Niggas yeah, be yeah. trying to put us all good. Yeah. They can't stop this shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's funny. You know I, I remember I first rapped though. I had uh, said a bar of stress money or some shit. You did. I said, I said no need to stress money if a nigga get low. I know how to take money. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I'm this like, this <laughs> oh, some G shit, bro. I did that shit a long time ago, bro. I'm like, that shit was corny as yeah. hell, bro. I'm bitch, because he was hard. Like nigga, stress money had yeah. a point. In the game, I love stretch, bro. Dog, I ain't you, gonna lie, bro. I, and he can really rap, and it's like, really as a person, bro. Yeah, I'd be like, that's how I am with a lot of artists, bro. I gotta fuck with you as a person, yeah. who I think you is through sure. interviews and speaking. For sure, for sure. Then I'll be able to get into your music like, a little. Niggas more. be talking shit about stretch money, but at, at one point, nigga, he was that nigga in the city as far as, and he could, like, he could still rap and he could really rap. Like, yeah, nigga, it wasn't like no bullshit. He really had some, you know, what I'm saying flow. Yeah, man, he just stretch, stretch. Seemed like one of the most solid niggas, bro. Yeah, you know. Hell yeah, city, hell yeah. Sure. Man, I was just talking shit. I ain't really going to diss you. I'm glad they didn't hear that shit back then. Yeah, niggas. niggas know. I was all by myself in the office, walking up, Matt getting fucked, yeah. got fucked up. <laughs> 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 niggas know, dog. It's all love. Now, man, you know, I I, I like to ask people prior to the show if they want to rap. Ninety nine percent of the time, niggas say no. You get one percent of the time, niggas say yes and shit, dog. So, and you one of the ones that I, you know, saying I was hoping to say yeah because you be on your, you know, what I'm saying on your shit. Yeah, for so, sure. You know, I'm every week with yeah, it. Yeah, for dog. sure. Oh yeah. So, we got cute behind the motherfucking boards on the motherfucking ones too. You you're going here to Let's run it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know if I need to cut it up or down. Okay. Oh, this be so hard, dude. Yo, you can just give me some volume. Yeah. Shout out versus everybody, man. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. We jumping right in? We jumping right in. So, yeah. Hey. 
Niggas be hating. I mean, like so many niggas. I mean, like I don't even know who with me. Shit, you with us or against us? Niggas be vouching for the bums. Girl, your boyfriend trash. Bitch, you trash right with him. I ain't gonna smash. I'ma pass. How the fuck Snoop Dogg showing love? And niggas can't show it in the city. Bitch, I'm the boss man, but the only thing niggas can't get in with me. Nigga, my trust fucked up. Nigga, my dope stay locked. Nigga, it's me against the world. Niggas done brought back pop. Hold up. 2024 version swerving. All black, big body suburban. You not from the hood, you suburban. I'm a real nigga, bitch, I deserve it. Where the fuck is the camaraderie? We in Detroit, but ain't buying no property. This shit a real monopoly. <laughs> fuck. Don't try to fuck with me later when you see me getting that paper. I don't wanna talk. Fuck do you mean? I'm getting big and green, bitch. I'm the incredible hawk. Fuck is you thinking about? Fuck is your head? That this shit really ain't hard to see. Ain't nobody fucking with me, so we just gon' have to agree to disagree. I'm deep in that BAG. These boys is CAP. These boys is cap. Fuck your clout and fuck your money, cause none of y'all bitch ass niggas can't rap. I'm having fun. I have a sticks and drums, though, nigga. I'm Anderson Pack. Far as this shit concerned, I'm kick return. I catch it, I'm running it back. Far as this shit concerned, I'm done with niggas. I'm trying to get TV and film. Trying to get music on video games. I ghost the pen. I'm trying to get M's. Bitch, you wasn't shooting with me back in the gym. You wasn't fucking with me back in the day. You ain't think I was gonna be him. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> shy versus everybody, man. <laughs> nigga, now it's in the building, man. Yes, sir, my dog. I nigga, appreciate bars you. all day, man. You already know, man. Let's Fuck y'all niggas. Yes, sir. Nigga, got that bit quick, nigga. For sure, man. Yeah, you know I mean? dog. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you get niggas and you do your music shit and you, I, like, hey, man, hey, I bow down, nigga. Yeah, Pause. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Like, you got to, let me go. Hey. Let me, hey. And that's why I, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, I do this shit, yeah, And that's dog. why I want him Because like I hate when I ain't gonna say I hate dog And niggas be like Yeah I rap And then he be like Duh, Nigga that was you gonna Alright alright <laughs> Right right And like, I remember There's one particular person I'm like I forgot to ask him prior And that's what made me Start asking people prior I'm like um, You know I ain't asked you But you wanna rap uh-huh. And it was like Yeah 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 But I don't, I don't freestyle I'm like oh, You know you can use the phone you know, It's all good We ain't tripping right. and shit. This is uh-huh. 2024 Niggas pull the phone out quick For sure. They try to freestyle Nigga the whole time I'm looking at this nigga like, <laughs> like Take no. 10 Like no are... nigga They ain't take 10 Just thinking that shit Nigga take off all nigga. Right. We, I, we, I'm like <laughs> no. dog I'm like bro like, just, Cause my thing is As a rapper If I'm going I know that 9 times 10 I might be asked that question I'm gonna have me a 16 In the tuck Just for that Got to I'm gonna remember. I remember the, the game, nigga. One time I was rapping the same 16 on every fucking radio show. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> like, it was bad, nigga. Like, I started knowing that shit was so bad. <laughs> nah, yeah, you gotta be ready with this shit, bro. You never know when your, you know, your car go get pulled, bro. For sure, man. Now, we getting towards the end, man. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? What's some shit as a young paper boy <laughs> mm-hmm. that you don't believe in now as knowledge? Like, you was just thinking crazy and you just look at back that. You look back on it like, what the fuck was I even thinking about? Mm. Man, that's tough, bro. What was Paperboy thinking? Yeah, like, that you just don't agree, you don't agree with it at all. Um, I can't think, bro, really. I can't, I'm gonna say probably, uh, I need to get on in my city first mm-hmm. before I get on anywhere else. Okay, for sure. Uh, just off the top of my head, bro. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Hell yeah. Shit. With the internet, that definitely ain't the case today. <laughs> no, for sure. Um, Hell yeah. You can get on. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I wish I could have gave you one a little bit better, bro. I've been I've been on point, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a minute, bro. Yeah. Even on even when I was a paper boy, I was yeah. saying I was saying <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. Hell uh, yeah. yeah. What what's at the end of the day, what's your definition of success? How do how is success in your eyes? Uh man, peace, bro. Just being at peace. Yeah. Hell yeah. You no, know what facts. Saying? For Fancy real, bro. For, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you truly at peace, bro, yeah. within yourself, you can you just good. relax. You can sleep good. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, have a family around you, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, stuff like that, bro. The intangibles, the stuff money can't buy. No, for when, sure. When you start appreciating that, bro, and you you good, you successful. Yeah, bro. you good to go. Yeah, hell yeah. Making the band, man. That was a, a good ass show back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My nigga was chopping. No, Fred was the was the hardest. Yeah, though. Fred was hard. N- did nobody sound like Fred, dog? <laughs> then I wish them niggas would stay around. But um, Ness was the hardest. Yeah, uh, barwise. Yeah, barwise. Bar barwise. Yeah, but I say yeah. Fred just had a different. Like you I never heard Fred. nobody sound like Fred. Yeah, Florida. Boy. And then Chopper, I was just on my Cash Money shit, dog. Like, yeah. like what was that? What was the album that really like made you like fall in love with rap, dog? Because I, I know I'm. I was talking about something else, but when I was talking about Chopper, I started thinking about myself shit. Like yeah. Four Hundred Degrees was like the album that made me want to listen to everything after that. Yeah, bro. Uh, 
Damn, man. Shout out to my Uncle Jody, bro. That's where all my music and shit come from. He was listening to Wu-Tang. I mm -hmm. thought that shit was terrible back in the day. Yeah, this nigga, this nigga still think it's terrible. He does. <laughs> I respect that shit now. Nah, I done grew to respect that shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I would say maybe around the uh, whole years, bro, he yeah. was listening to Jay. And yeah. then it'll be Wayne. Just okay. on some young nigga shit. Some yeah. Wayne shit. I don't know. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Well, I heard that motherfucker, um, the block is hot. And then, I mean, that nigga wasn't cussing and stuff. Except had one song, I don't cuss, but in his verse, man, fuck the world. Yeah. Like, I'm like, this nigga well, ain't hard. I, it, like, it, in a long time, him and Turk was sounding just like to me, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Wayne was the. But everybody knew Wayne was gonna be a one though. Hell yeah. Like yeah, I was heavy on Wayne shit. Hell yeah, but no, back to <clears throat> making a band shit. <laughs> if you had to make your own album, bro, a making a band album, you and four other people, anybody, it could be singers, it could be rappers, it could be producers, like who will make your perfect album, dog? Anybody? Mm-hmm. Celebrities and all that shit. Yep. It could be all uh, rappers, it could be singers, it could be all producers, like just you and four other people. Them shits be tough, man. Uh, uh, man, I'm going with... Oh, my nigga Kendrick, bro. Okay, Before, for sure. Yeah, on yeah. Top. And then, uh, on the singing tip... Come on, man. Help me out, dog. Throw me some, throw me some fingers. <laughs> shit, the dream. Dream hard. Yeah. Songwriter. Yeah, you got the songwriter. Yeah, cool. all in one. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be here all day, nigga. I'm going with... Yeah, that shit tough as hell, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, you, um, you Kendrick Dream. Give me uh, a producer in that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to go with, uh, ooh, shit. I'm going with Hit Boy, dog. Just because sure. of my niggas. Dog, yeah, Hit Boy, boy. That yeah. nigga be going crazy. All right, what about you guys? What, just one more finish. Give me somebody that's dead. Uh, Pop. All right, man. That's, that'd be straight. Yeah, hell, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> hit Boy, man, hit, like, cause I don't care what nobody say. Nas always had, like, a... You know what I'm saying good albums, but yeah. like when Hit Boy came, it just like kind of like just went turned it, turned yeah. it back up because like Nas, like my top three rappers ever is uh, is Pop, Nas, and Wayne. Mm. So when Nas finally came back around, I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Hit, nigga, we good now, yeah. we back, boy. Yeah, that's <laughs> all I was listening to for a minute. Hell all, yeah. them, all them joints him and um, Nas did. No, they was going crazy. Yeah. Is it uh, is there anything that you would change differently with your start in music? Uh, nah, bro, mm. nope. I don't want to change shit. I just keep moving how I'm moving. Dog. Yeah. Because I had to learn this shit. I had to go through everything I went through. Yeah. What's some advice you'll give to somebody that want to start anything, but they afraid of failing? Um, just jump, bro. Mm -hmm. Just jump, dog. Like, that's the uh the part, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I'll sit around a lot of niggas that be having good ideas, bro. And mm -hmm. it's crazy because I be knowing deep down, like, you ain't about to move on that bitch, bro. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, dog. So, that's the one, bro. It's yeah. just like you have to go. Mm -hmm. Like you know, now I do at the end towards the end, man. I do some silly shit, man. I ask some silly ass questions, dog. We end this shit off, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I got the the first one is a uh, what's worse. So I give you a couple situations, mm -hmm. and you tell me which one of these motherfuckers is worse, dog. I gotta find these bitches first, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna we gonna go with uh we we gonna do what's worse last. We gonna do too early, too late, or right on time. Mm -hmm. I tell you something, you tell me if it was too early, too late, or right on time. Mm. First time having sex, man, was it too early, too late, or right on time? Mm, right on time. Right on time? Yeah. Remember like it was yesterday, huh? Hell yeah. My, 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 my <laughs> shit was a bad experience, boy. It was. Hell yeah, it was bad. Yeah, nah. She's, who was in a bump? Yeah, it was all bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was bad, dog. About to tell you niggas there. It was bad, right? Mm. Figuring out life. Too mm. early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. Okay, yeah, okay. Or, Mo moving out your parents' house. Right on time. All right, first relationship. Um, right on time. This shit yeah. sound crazy. <laughs> yeah. First job. Um, too early. <laughs> <laughs> too early, dog. Leaving a messed up relationship. Uh... Right on time. Shit, I ain't never took too long to leave. Yeah, start music. <laughs> uh, you ain't the ones that just like prolong the whole little shit, like yeah, the whole relationship. Like, nah. I, like, cause I was that nigga. Like, I don't, I don't want to be with you, but I want nobody else with you. So I'm just let this shit ride. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. We out. We out. You know that. All right, start music. Uh, right on time. First album. Uh, I won't say too late, probably. All right, this last one, dog. Find out Santa Claus wasn't real. 
She right on time. <laughs> All right, now early too. We do what's worse. What's worse, man? Getting body on the song or getting body at the rim, nigga? Nigga dunk on your ass. Definitely at the rim. <laughs> Hell yeah. I done, I done felt that pain. Yeah. I done passed it out a lot too. That shit embarrassing. Yeah, man. That shit, that shit hurt, dog. That shit hurt. If in this day and age, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you're going to be on YouTube and shit. Yeah. I was about to say the song because that's going to be out forever too. For sure. But, uh. Yeah, it's yeah. different. You dunked on, dog. You dunked on crazy. Yeah, you ever, you ever, got, nigga, nigga ever caught your ankles, nigga, and had you like, nigga? I ain't never, I ain't never fail. Yeah. I ain't never fail. I failed one time in life in eighth grade. This nigga named Nick Fazella, dog. White boy made me fall too. He yeah. caught me on the on the back pedal, so I'm back pedaling, and he snatched that bitch back. <laughs> so I was like, I kept Crazy. going, nigga. It was like a, <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, damn, this nigga ain't got me. Don't got to do shit. All right, what's 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 worse, bro? Uh, Failing that summer or not starting? Not starting for sure. What's worse? Find out your mate your mate cheating through uh, text or in action? Ooh, in, in action. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What first thing you gonna do? Uh, not no sucker shit. It, yeah. You know. uh yeah, <laughs> no, 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 week. It's definitely yeah. over. Though. Like, yeah, yeah. That shit then wouldn't even happen to me, though. Yeah, no, for sure. That shit, that shit, <laughs> that you just, you disrespected, goddamn. Yeah, What's worse, dog? Find out your, finding out your parents ain't your real parents or finding out your siblings adopted? Mm, your parents ain't your real parents. Yeah. What's worse, losing your girl to your, to your mans or losing your girl to your ex? <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> to my man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's worse, man? No money for your kids on Christmas or no money for your kids on their birthday? Uh, I'll say uh, Christmas. Yeah. Only because uh, it's just yeah, yeah, that shit going on around the world. Yeah, yeah competition with everybody. Birthday, you can kind of make some shit up, especially if they birthday in warm weather. For sure. Go to a park and shit, dog. Yeah. What's worse? <laughs> I had them bell out uh, birthdays like Man, listen. nigga pay pay for uh twenty dollars worth of giant slide tickets and shit. <laughs> Real burns that. That was crazy. <laughs> nigga, I work out everything walking them fucking steps. The damn giant slide was a shit though. The first one, not this new yeah, shit. I don't yeah. know. I would never get on that bitch. Well, that, that was a dangerous ass slide though. Think about it, dog. Yeah, it was flying out there. You dude. got a carpet, nigga. You nigga. <laughs> you far as hell in the sky, dog. <laughs> What's worse, dog? Nice, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? One more time. No <laughs> car, nice crib? No car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? Definitely no, no car, nice crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms? Oh, arm? no, wait, wait. It was what's worse? Yeah. Uh, Nice car, no crib is worse. Nice car, no crib? Yeah. Hell yeah, that's worse. What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms, or being <laughs> a short nigga with tall legs? <laughs> <laughs> a tall nigga with short arms, for sure. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> that is what. Exactly. <laughs> dog, what's worse, dog? Some fucked up, some bullshit head or some bullshit pussy? Ooh. Um, some bullshit head. <laughs> yeah, because damn, you really, you wasting my time. <laughs> Cause this is the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, this last one, man. What's worse for a rapper wearing fake jewelry or fake designer clothes? Uh, fake. Uh, shit. Just be a fake, my nigga. <laughs> 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 Be a fake nigga on the inside. You know what I, I'm saying? All right, this is the real, this is the real last one. What's worse, dog? Your kids catch you having sex or you catching your parents having sex? That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say um, you catching your parents. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. You, can, you can base some shit up, nigga, with the kids. You can go. I ain't, I ain't yeah. that old somewhere at high. Nigga, like, oh, yeah, we playing high seat. Like, <laughs> Especially if you, yeah, yeah, your parents. For yeah, sure. for sure. that shit right there. Yeah. For sure, man. Like I said, man, man, we finally made this shit happen. I appreciate that man, shit, bro. No doubt, bro. Shit, this tell really people real. where you can find music, where you can find you on social media, all that good shit. Yeah, knowledge, man. N O L A J. You just search that everywhere. Mm -hmm. Two underscores on the ground. Um, even, even biz, man. I've been putting my music on even, so, um, they could shop with me direct. You know, mm -hmm. all artists be getting pimped off the streaming Hell services. Yeah, for sure. Hell they ain't yeah. doing nothing. Y'all want to show some real love, jump on even. Mm -hmm. um, if you in the city, man, I DJ every Thursday. A crazy R&B night. It's a vibe, man. Make sure y'all tap in with me. Come pull up, man. Where at? Where is that? Come Where meet me. 
said Hazel's place on Michigan, close to downtown. Five five one six Michigan Ave. Yeah. Every Thursday, six to eleven. It's an early vibe. For sure. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't had to fuck with one of these Thursday yeah, dogs. Come down there, fuck with you. Weather about to break it. Then it uh, they go indoor outdoor when the weather break. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, so, hell yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. What's you want to leave the people with some 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 good words, man? Some words of encouragement, some motivation, man. Uh, yeah, man. I will just say. <clears throat> It's kind of cliche, man, but tomorrow ain't promised, dog. Like, mm-hmm. live your life like this it. This mm-hmm. the last day, man. Um, You got something to say to somebody, say it to them today. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm nigga. saying? <laughs> say it to them today, for real. That's you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, love, love your people like like the same way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, that's crazy. Hell, we just had a whole convo with my, with my, with my wife and her family. I'm like, man. yeah. If you got something to say, you got to say, like you said, man, shit ain't promised, bro. Yeah, go on, get that, get like, that, that out. Nigga J. Cole say, well, you got a coffin full of regrets. <laughs> nigga, <Exactly. laughs> can't have that, for hell real. No, hell no, hell no. Like I said, man, it was a, pre- a pleasure having you on the show, man. Yeah, same, bro. Shout out to my nigga Kurt for getting me hip to you, you know what I'm saying, a couple years ago and yeah, shit, dog. Leg point, my dog. Couldn't get that motherfucker, uh, that date right, but we got it right, yeah, dog. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's never too late. It's always right on time. Yeah, hell yeah, man. So, man, shout out to everybody. Episode 196, man. You already know, man. Best podcast in the city. Ain't no comparison. If it is, y'all niggas, I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas thinking, man. And girls, I'll give them a trash ass boxing head, dog. <laughs> Take care of your motherfucking mouth and your pussy, dog. We out. <laughs>